So welcome everyone. We're presenting today uh, Orchestrator, so CW Orchestrator, uh, which is a um, scripting, testing, uh, and all-around tool for interacting with Cosm Wasm contracts. Um, and we'll see later uh, what it means interacting with Cosm Wasm contracts. Um, so yeah, let's start with a simple introduction inside uh, Cosm Wasm. So Cosm Wasm is a smart contract framework which is embedded. A in almost all Cosmos SDK chains, not the hub yet, but maybe one day, um, and which is the most adopted uh, smart contracts framework outside EVM. And uh, so if you go on their webpage, it's beautifully detailed, but their main focus is on interoperability and performance, uh, which means uh, ha having the ability to build smart contracts across all blockchains, um, having the ability to uh, discuss between blockchains using IBC, using interchain tools. And this is why um, this is the most, uh, the, the best smart contract framework outside EVM and even accounting EVM, um, but that's another subject. And to interact with Cosmosm, there are a galaxy of tools uh, that developers have to deal with. And yeah, those tools are so diverse in different languages, in different uh, ways of uh, dealing with smart contracts that uh, it's yeah it restrains this galaxy of tools and no standard way of interacting with Cosmosm Wasm, uh, means it restricts interoperability between developers with um, the platform dramatically. And so that's where uh, Orchestrator comes in. So if you want to go to the next slide, uh, so Orchestrator is a tool that solves this issue. Uh, that interacts with Cosmosm, which is open source, promotes interoperability, uh, is a Rust library. So we stay inside Cosmosm, inside Rust, um, and does everything you need with Cosmosm. So that is test Cosmosm script with it, deploy contracts, maintain the contracts. And this is a perfect tool all around Cosmosm. Um, so let's go a bit deeper now in this presentation uh, with a bit more motivation to go inside the details of why uh, Cosmosm is so difficult to uh, deal with today, to uh, interact with, um, and how we, with Orchestrator, improve this developer experience of Cosmosm. And we'll talk about later uh, at the end of this presentation uh, what other extensions we have brought to Orchestrator that makes it a one go to tool. Um, so I was talking for, so I've been talking for three minutes uh, about Cosmosm and interacting with Cosmosm. So actually when you have a contract, you wanna do multiple things with it. So first you wanna be able to uh, interact, push it on chain, uh, develop around it, be able to send con send messages, queries, etc. So that is the first point. Cosmos SDK nodes, your application should be able to talk with a node to talk with the contracts. Uh, the second use case is uh, when you want to test. When you want to test your contract, you want to be able to rapidly, uh, inside your own computer, uh, be able to test everything you do to make sure that when your contract is on chain, everything works perfectly and adapts perfectly to the chain you're interacting with. Uh, then you may want to, after deploying, after all the your contracts are on chain, you want to be able also to uh, debug, debug a specific feature we have without having to send funds, without having to break your contracts um, on chain. So you want to be able to, with the on chain state, be able to debug. And finally, uh, you want to be able to have simple command line tools to be able to interact with smart contracts with any chain you want without having to download every possible chain binary uh, to uh, debug things. So th those are the four main interactions that we have with Cosmosm and that as a developer, you want to have one tool to interact with because today, for instance, to uh, interact with Cos 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 Cosmos SDK nodes, you may have uh, Cosm uh, JS, so in JavaScript, be able to interact with contracts. You may use Cosm RS, so in Rust, with a different um, syntax, with different things that goes around uh, Cosmosm contracts. If you want to test, then you will be using multi-test, Osmosis test tube. These are names that are well known inside the developer uh, world in Cosmosm, and that also bring another syntax, another way of dealing with uh, your contract and duplicate the code you need to interact with your blockchains or your contract. And finally, um, as, as I've said, uh, Today, it's not possible to debug uh, smart contracts easily 
without having to redeploy everything on a testnet or a test on mainnet, which is really dangerous and, um, and costly. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about the CLI also uh, in the end. So let's go now on what Orchestrator is and what it brings to a developer. So Orchestrator is a simple unified syntax to do all the things I've discussed before, to do testing, to do deploying, to do scripting, to do maintenance. With this simple syntax you see on the screen, you create your chain, you interact with your contracts. That's it. No other things, no different languages, no different interfaces. With this simple syntax you see here, and I will see in a demo later, you can do anything you need with smart contracts. No other um, languages needed, no other platforms needed, just orchestrator, stay in Rust, and do your um, smart contracts interactions. Um, and so if we want to go a bit more uh, inside the code, uh, we'll see as well that it's really simple to, uh, to all the types are derived automatically. Uh, your contracts as types, query messages, query responses, execute messages, and different interactions you want to do with it. Uh, with Orchestrator, everything has uh, is uh, strictly typed. So there is no, wor don't worry about the types, uh, rather worry about your application and um, worry about changes that are uh, propagated. Um, but this is, yeah, Orchestrator is here to facilitate your life um, and make sure that also your application doesn't crash, even to scripting, testing, etc. cetera. Um, and so with this, uh, we'll jump in uh, in a li little demo. So that's the, the next slide. Uh, we want to see how to work with Orchestrator and uh, how it's how in uh, actual events it is uh, useful and fast to code with it. So in this demo, very quickly, we will import some contracts and dependencies. So here a um, token, a um, fungible token. Um, we're going to write code, which is reusable for every usage we've talked about, test, script, deploying. And uh, we'll see that it's really easy to export your code for others to interact with your code. And so that promotes uh, open source, that promotes interoperability. And this is, yeah, I think that it is uh, what blockchain should go towards. And that is open source code and um, developers working together. So let's go inside the code. Let me show you my window. Um, so on this uh, code window, what you see is um, so a snippet of orchestrator code. So in this function, we want to have we have a token. So CW20 means a fungible token in the Cosmosm. And this token here, we want to upload it, instantiate it. So that means creating the contract. And then finally, we want to transfer it to someone. So this is the, this to address. So this simple function will create your contract, put it on chain, be it on the test chain or an actual chain, we'll see later, and then transfer the funds to someone. And you see here that we do this, this code, without having, um, so the chain is a parameter to this function. And what that means is this will run on any environment that you have. So for instance, you have all the environments here. We're gonna start with the test environment. And so in this uh, window, uh, we're just gonna, oh, let me just do this. Um, we'll simply uh, run this test and see what happens. So this actually just, you know, it's so some uh, here I, I set up my environment, I, I call my function and I assert that everything went well, I sent some funds to my AEZ voter here. So if I just run this, obviously I'm not in the right, uh, all right. Uh, if I run this, I see a lot of things happening in the terminal. And so that's what's good with Orchestrator is that you can see what happened. You see that we've uploaded the code, we've instantiated everything, we've had a transfer of uh, so 5,000 here, and we've asserted that everything went well. So that, that was a simple test to show you that uh, we can do that without spinning out nodes, and we have some nice uh, logs, we, we have some nice ways of uh, coding things, and that works for tests. Now we can do something else. So it's it's another test framework here. I'm not going to run it, but it's another test framework that is, that is also integrated with Orchestrator, and that allows you to test on an actual blockchain. So that's that's called Test Tube. And now let's see what happens in an actual on a, an actual node. So here I'm going to interact with local Juno, which is a local Juno chain, 
and doing the same, the almost the same command, uh, which is here. Uh, I'm going to run this example, which oh, still uses my function here. And so this uh, as well, oop, it's not right, <laughs> it's not up, but I can, uh, if I just um, create my local chain, so this is my local chain here, local Juno, um, I can do the same code exactly, uh, but this time uh, it is, oh, let me just wait a second, um, this time it works on an actual uh, blockchain. So you see here, I'm submitting my transaction of uh, up, up, uploading my code. So there's too too much information here, but we see all the information that is logged with different levels. Uh, so you see what ha what's happening in real time, and you can do everything you need to interact with your contract. Here we're just sending some funds around, so that's easy. Uh, but this application uh, is composable. So what we have, so we have, with the orchestrator, we work with Abstract, which is a, a whole framework, a whole smart contract framework. And we use orchestrator to deploy, to maintain, test, crypt, debug, uh, abstract. And that's really powerful. Even, so not only in simple cases like what I've just shown you here, but also in huge cases with huge code, it really helps maintaining, uh, I mean, setting up and maintaining all your project. So that was a, a little code uh, demo that I wanted to, to show you guys today. Um, and I'm just checking if I have uh, some more time. Yes, I have a little bit of time. Let me just show you a final demo, which is the CLI uh, that we have at Orchestrator. Um, so CLI is a simple um, way of interacting with smart contracts and Cosmosm on any chain. So today, if you want to interact with Cosmosm using a CLI, you have to um, download Osmosis D, so the, the CLI for Osmosis. If you want to interact with Terra, you have this CLI for Terra. If you want to interact with Archway, etc., etc. So we've created a simple tool to um, to facilitate developers' life, developers' um, yeah interactions with Cosmosm to facilitate and have uh, uh, things done quickly. And so you can, for instance, uh, go on my Juno local uh, net uh, and see, for instance, my uh, native balance uh, for uh, my address, which I have uh, in another window. Yes, here. Oh, no, that's not the one I want to. I just want to yeah, get all my balances for this address. And I can see all the balances I have on this chain. And you see that it's a really simple um, or CLI, which is which works with every blockchain, every Cosmosm SDK blockchain, and which will uh, so give you the command you just ran, but also have this interactive mode, which works pretty well, even for uh, um, starting developers. So that's also good to promote uh, Cosmosm to other developers and bring other developers in our ecosystem. And with that, um, I'm going to stop here because I think I'm running out of time. But thank you guys for uh, for listening. <laughs>